What's up, everybody? Thanks for joining me, man. Got some uh, drip tips to show you guys today. Just just some of my go-to, some of my favorite drip tips. There'll be no really rhyme or reason to any of this, man. Uh, so definitely thanks for hanging out with me. It's been a minute since I put up a, a video. So I'm going to go ahead and take off this. Pop this on. We'll start this sucker off, man. Right. There we go. Yeah, let's talk drip tips. I also went ahead and uh, I brought the uh, V cap. We talked about this in the other video. I brought that to kind of throw drip tips on, just so you can kind of see them, you know. Let's uh get juicy here. Yeah, I hope you guys are having a super good day today, man. I'm super psyched. Let me go ahead and uh, bust this out here. <laughs> I suck at O-rings, always have. <laughs> Let's get into this, man. First up, we will be talking about this guy. This is the bottom section here. Let me get rid of this. This is the... Uh, uh, Supercarb AFC from NinjaMods.com. Um, guy named Greg runs Ninja Mods. I've been watching his videos for a long time. He's a super cool guy, man. He taught me how to do Jennies. He taught me. <laughs> the kid's brilliant. Um, before Ninja Mods was Ninja Mods, like throwing out product and stuff. Uh, super great, dude. Um, much congratulations, man. Uh, and I, I wish you all the best, man. Like, totally deserve it, dude. I feel like we're friends. I've been watching for so long, dude. But, uh, fanboy over. Ninja Monster Drip Tip. Huge board. Check this out, guys. Now, I don't know if you guys noticed, but hopefully you did. You got the AFC here. See, there it is right there. Um, you can adjust it to however you want. There's also a smaller hole on the other side, right? By way of the sleeve. Pop off the sleeve. And there you go. There's your uh, little one. And there's your big one. And then basically, you just take this guy right here. Um, right there. And just adjust it accordingly, man. Um, there's really no specific way to use this drip tip. Um, not by any means at all. Really, it's up to you. That's what I love about it. Um, I think we're all kind of waiting for that one thing to pop up to change the way we vape forever, you know. I believe this is the first of its kind. Um, I know Cloud 50's dropping one. Um, but I definitely love what Greg's done here, man. This is a fantastic drip tip. Um, this works great for, like, a... You know, like the Aga W, and you get it in stock, the holes are so small. If you want just a little more airflow, right here, man. Um, this works fantastic for, uh, you get a, I get a, I mean, I prefer it wide open. There's really no exact way to use this. There really isn't. Um, but I tend to get very dense, heavy, thick vape from, uh, from just the one side open, all right? Let's see if you guys can check it real quick. It's just really dense. You know, it works, uh, and it works well. Um, his whole line of drip tips, I highly urge you guys to get down there. SurfNinja-Mods.com, surf it, check out their drip tips. They're all done on their Superboard chassis. Um, stands by that. Um, they're beautiful. Speaking of Ninja Mods, here's another one. I got this at RiverWalkVapors.com. This is the Naval Brass Edition. It's starting to look like wood. I love that. No step. None of his drip tips have a step. And they all sport the double O-ring, right? Uh, got the ribbing going on here, but check that out. 
Ah, oh, I love when brass does that. Almost looks like wood. Love this tip. I'm gonna go ahead and pop that back in there. Um, also, some other drip tips, man. Check these out. This one's a Naval Brass Ringo. Alright. Um, they're only making 99 of the brass. There you go. Okay, only making 99 of the brass. This is number four. Notice the stainless steel on the top. And then right there, check that out, guys. Isn't that beautiful? It's absolutely beautiful. Um, they're making 99 of each. Here's the stainless steel version. This is number 26. Note the eyes. Note the eyes. Look how well that's done. Isn't that fantastic? Um, it's smooth. There's no edge on there. The two-tone on the top is uh, quite miraculous, man. Um, I love my Detach Custom Strip Tips. The ring goes, I highly get Go to vapetry.com, see if you can get your hands on one, guys. 99 made in the world. I'm proud to own both of them, man. I really am. Also from uh, Detach Custom, same website as well. This is the Short Pipe. Uh, Naval Brass Edition. Big bore. Look at the size of that thing, guys. Um, massiveness. Big old chunky O-ring. Just massive. Um, let me pop this off. Pop this on, check that out. Um, beautiful, isn't it? It's just gnarly huge. Gnarly huge. I love it. The inside is done so well, too, guys. I mean, it's fantastic. Um, the Omuff as well. Uh, this is probably the first of its kind. Um, it's an oval. It's called the O-Muff. It's oval, and it's a muffler style drip tip. Muffler with that cut. See that? So it's got that kind of edge to it. Um, check out the size of it, first of all. I mean, it really is uh, quite brutally big. Um, it's wide. It's huge. It's oval. Check that out. Now, when you go to vape it and you put your lips on it like that, it's perfect. Sometimes you get it like that, and it's like, ooh, feels kind of weird. Small price to pay for such a beautiful drip tip, though, guys. Um, this thing vapes like a dream. Let me show you the bottom. Actually, let me show you the inside. So there's the inside, right? You get that first step, okay? That's when it starts to turn into a round drip tip. And then as you go down, it turns around. And there's a look from the bottom. First one I've ever seen of this. Um, I really like this style. I'm not a huge fan of muffler drip tips, but uh, this one, I mean, it just looks so mean on there, doesn't it? It really does. It looks so mean on there. Love the Omaf. Let me pop these back in here. Um, LokiLab.com. Love these drip tips as well. This is the Omega DT. Right? I know I did a review on this, but I really wanted to get up there and show you guys one more time. Check that out. The face on there. So light. It's so lightly done. Through hundreds of cleanings, it is still holding strong. The eyeballs, everything. It, it really is. Um, it really is a beautiful piece of work here. The finning on top. Check this out. Don't let the finning discourage you guys. Check this out. Um, you can even line it up with the monkey there. Check that out. Isn't that gorgeous? I mean, it's just absolutely beautiful. The way it looks on there. It's just... You put this on something like the Atomic, dude, you'll be loving it. It just looks so clean on there. It just evens everything out. These big, chunky, flat top caps, you know, just evens it out beautifully, man. Uh, another one from Loki Lab, and I just had it on the Super Carb. It's about the size of a dime. This is the stub from LokiLab.com. Okay. Um, the face, once again, beautifully done. Handled. These are like some of the first nice. I think these are the first engraved drip tips I ever got. They're still holding up strong. No step. 
countersunk in the top, chunky o-ring, um, beautiful guys, highly, highly recommend Loki Lab Strip Tips. Um, once again, check this one out, all my concealed carry permits out there, all my hold, my concealed carry holders out there will like this one. This is a 45 stubby, kind of looks like ammunition, check that out. Face, once again, stainless steel Delrin hybrid. Okay, check that out. Thick, thick Delrin. And it goes about mm, a little more than halfway up, I would say, with the Delrin. Um, the rounded top on it. Um, the rounded top is really, really comfortable, guys. Let's throw it on, the, the V cap. And that's what she's going to look like right there. Um, beautiful, isn't it? Looks almost like a head, huh? It's so sick, man. It's so sick. Love this drip tip. All these ones I'm showing you are my go-tos. Um, I love them all. So This is also my go-to for my K-Fun, um, my Cyclone. This is the Vicious Ant Chaplin. It's got the VA logo on the top. Um, a little different than the Loki Lab, where the down one's going um, on the inside. This one's just a sleeve on the outside, all right? That's what you're, that's what that black is. That's just it's just down, okay? The inside's all stainless steel, as you can see there, okay? It just shines, guys. It's just super clean looking. Doesn't matter what you put it on, it it looks clean. You know? It just gives it a real classy look. It really does. Yeah, it's fantastic, man. Definitely one of my go-tos. Um, running through here. My two puffs. I believe this is the Chiz. Correct me if I'm wrong, guys. I believe this is the Chiz. I could be wrong, though. I might got this from Salt Lake Vapors. Hanging out with my dude, Vape Bomb 27 Super cool guy. This one means a lot to me. This reminds me of the time I went down there and hung out with those guys. Great guys. Cool shop. A little step on the inside here. However, check this out. Right? I mean, that's that's the look we're going for here. Um, the first step, then it just kind of shoots to the sky. And the corresponding um, vertical and horizontal lines there really, really do give it a very beautiful look. Yes, that is three holes drilled out. <laughs> Been playing with airflow lately. Um, let's pop that one back in. Um, and this one. This one is from uh, the 12 Zodiac. This is from RJ Mods. I got this from RiverWalkVapors.com as well. This here is the Zodiac. This is the year of the horse, which is my year. Um, hopefully you guys can really um, get a good look. Crane riding number 65. I believe this is all done by acid. But boy, that looks amazing, doesn't it? Fantastic. Um, it, it really brings uh, it really brings your atomizer to life, no matter what it's sitting on. Um, it really is a classy piece huge it's huge guys massive it might be bigger than my dynasties shorter than my dynasties um wow huge 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 beautiful drip tip um every one of these these drip tips i totally um i recommend okay speaking of dynasty here's the gold plated dynasty we're giving this one away guys Read the description down low after the video. This is number 174. Check that out. Isn't that fantastic? It's a funnel. Okay? It's a funnel going down through there. Creates a vortex effect. Really improves your flavor as well. Read the description after the video, guys. Or now. Whenever you want. And here's the rib version. Number 178. Fantastic. Same deal here, guys. Boom. This one shows a little better because it's stainless steel, but 
Um, they both sport the D with the crown and the cereal. This one's just ribbed, number 178. Massive, gorgeous, beautiful fit. Mean. You know what? I think we'll just, uh, we'll pop on the old Goldie here. Bam. So that's pretty much it, guys. Um, I know you guys are really excited for the TOBH. I just got an email saying it's going to be delayed a little bit. No worries, as long as I get it right, man. That's all I care about, you know? Don't send me half-ass shit, so. You guys take your time if you're watching this. <laughs> Just send it to me right, man. Let's end this, guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, any questions about any of these drip tips, about anything at all, that's what I'm here for. Let's end this. Classic. <laughs> See you guys.